Okay, this mushroom here is called the voluminous latex milky. It's part of the lactarius family of mushrooms, which is uh, the milkies. Oh. <laughs> Dropped it down the hole. Okay, I'm gonna have to set up the tripod here. Okay, I've already got sort of milky stuff all over my hand. But the thing about the lactarius mushrooms, they're called milkies because they they bleed this milky like substance. You can see it. See it on the edges of the cap here. And there are there are some milkies that are not edible and there are some that are. Uh, but this the milk will stain it will stain your fingers after a while and it'll stain the places on the mushroom where it was after it dries it'll stain brown. And I'll show you that in a little while. Here's that smaller one. See the milk ooze when I when I cut the gills. I just picked this guy. It was under some leaves, and I thought it was a chanterelle at first, but you can see the milk on it. That's a voluminous latex milky right there. One thing about the voluminous latex milky is that it smells very fishy and it makes a lot of people not want to eat it when they smell that but that goes away when you cook it and hey fish smells fishy when you smell it but it still tastes pretty good after you cook it huh just figured I'd show you one of those voluminous latex milkies that is older well past its prime the stem has been eaten out completely by some kind of worms or grubs or something Definitely wouldn't want to eat that one, but there's a few more of them back here. You can see how that's the size that they get. So Lynn's going to check this one out. Okay, this. Oh, that was a picture of me. <laughs> You might have to cut some of this out. Oh, What's this? That's not a bully. Ooh. Look at that. Seeds? No. No. It's... See what it's doing? Wanna cut it? What? Is that stuff coming out? Ew. So what kind do you think it is? I don't think it's a bully. It's not a bully. It has What's gills. that look like? Yeah, what's coming out of it? What's it look like? What's it look like? It's like a milky. It's a mil it's an inky or is it a milky? It's a milky. It's a orange orange go milky? <laughs> nope. That it's called milky? a voluminous latex milky. There's another small one. Here's a couple of nice specimens. Yep, I have that fishy smell for sure. A little milk coming out of there. Not a lot of super milk. It is a uh, a bit dry right now. This is what a much younger one looks like. A bit dry right now. We haven't had much rain this week, which what I was hoping for. Some more than what we've had, but. Uh -huh, there's a couple more right here. So when they start to dry up, they don't exude as much milk. You can see right there, I didn't even... Didn't even do that on purpose. It's got some milk oozing out. Here's a nice sized one. You'll see the milk already. I didn't even try to cut it or anything. So here's these milkies. You got a better shot under the light. It was kind of dark while I was out there picking them. 
as they get larger they open up more and kind of kind of get a little bit of a the funnel shape with a depression in the middle the gills are kind of kind of widely spaced that one's a little dirtier but when they're young that's what the underneath looks like I really like the they just have this sort of dry, almost velvety looking cap. That sort of creamy orange color. I think they're a pretty neat looking mushroom. And they're one of my favorites to eat. They're very yummy. Some of these as I'm just kind of scraping the, the dirt off the stem. If I accidentally scrape some of that off, you can see the, see the milk oozing out. Give you one more shot of that under the light. I think I mentioned that the milk after it dries tends to stain brown. I don't know if you see these brown spots on there. That's from where the little droplets of milk were. It stains brown after it dries. It'll do the same to your fingers. Okay, well these are some dehydrated ones. I chose to dehydrate some this year for some storage but I have not yet tried rehydrating them so I don't know how well they do so I'm gonna give that a shot just by putting them in some water and let them soak for a while um, the, you know some mushrooms do better than others as far as uh, dehydrating and rehydrating so I think these will do well because they're a pretty uh, a pretty meaty mushroom but I guess we'll have to see. I'm just going to do a few. And I'll let you know how that turns out. Well, they seem like they plumped up pretty good. I'll just have to cook them up and see how they taste after they've been dried out and reconstituted. Well, I gotta say, it turned out pretty good. Not quite as good as fresh, but still pretty good. To be able to save them up and have them all year is well worth it. And I think that's about all I have on the voluminous latex milky. Thanks for watching.